More like Yoko and Yoko. <laughs> Greetings. I brought Amy here to show her some of the work I'm doing. It's very impressive for theoretical work. Do I detect a hint of condescension? I'm sorry, was I being too subtle? <laughs> I meant compared to the real world applications of neurobiology, theoretical physics is what's the word I'm looking for? Hmm, cute. Oh. <laughs> Are you suggesting the work of a neurobiologist like Babinski could ever rise to the significance of a physicist like Clark Maxwell or Dirac? I'm stating it outright. Babinski eats Dirac for breakfast and defecates Clark Maxwell. <laughs> You take that back. <laughs> Absolutely not. My colleagues and I are mapping the neurological substrates that subserve global information processing, which is required for all cognitive reasoning, including scientific inquiry, making my research ipso facto prior in the Ordo Cognoscendi. That means it's better than his research, and by extension, of course, yours. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm still trying to work on the defecating Clark Maxwell. So. <laughs> Excuse me, but a grand unified theory, insofar as it explains everything, will ipso facto explain neurobiology. Yes, but if I'm successful, I will be able to map and reproduce your thought processes in deriving a grand unified theory, and therefore subsume your conclusions under my paradigm. That's the rankest psychologism. It was conclusively revealed as hogwash by Gottlob Frege in the 1890s. We appear to have reached an impasse. I agree. I move our relationship terminate immediately. Seconded. There being no objections? <laughs> the motion carries. Good day, Amy Farrah Fowler. Good day, Sheldon Cooper.